Hi, this is Timogen. She's a golden eagle here at the Wildlife Way Station, and we're able to display her courtesy of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This is my partner, Jerry Johnson. He and I work together on the Golden Eagle team with Timogen, and another golden eagle we have named Atari. She came to us from a little town outside of San Diego where she was found on a farm actually killing chickens. She was doing that because she lost her vision in her left eye. So she was so desperate to eat, a farmer actually had to rescue her, and we've had her ever since, where we take care of her here at the Wildlife Way Station. Many people think these birds weigh a lot. A bird like this only weighs about 12 pounds. Keep in mind, she's mainly feathers and hollow bones, but she's got quite a big wingspan, which Jerry can demonstrate. Wingspan's about six feet, and she's very, very powerful considering her weight and her size. Her talons have extremely powerful grip. The longest one here in the back, called the Halix, is longer than a lion's canine. And the pressure that she can put on an animal kills it quite quickly. Each foot has the same crushing power as a German Shepherd's bite. So when she, when she um, uh, grips an animal, it's the same as two German Shepherds attacking at once. And then, of course, both wings. Again, uh, a total wingspan of six feet. And the eyesight, it's been reported that they can read headlines on a newspaper from a half mile away. So she uses that uh, primarily for her hunting purposes. Uh, she will soar at, at over a thousand feet looking down on the ground trying to find her prey. Many birds of prey come into us because they've been injured either through an accident hunting another animal or through the effect of mankind. Some are shot, some are maimed, some are captured and they come to us typically injured in some way, injured in a way where they typically can't be re-released back into the wild with any confidence that they would survive. Unfortunately, um, wing injuries are very, very common with birds of prey in general, and a lot of it is due to man, uh, that being uh, high lines. Uh, when they're diving on prey, uh, they, they focus on the prey and they don't notice what's around them. And in her case, she's gonna be diving at over 100 miles an hour on her prey, and she won't see a high line and smash into one. Uh, the other golden eagle that we currently have, uh, we had to amputate uh, her wing, uh, most probably due to that uh, type of injury. And we have several other birds of prey here which, which were injured probably in the same way. Handling the birds provides enrichment not only to the animals, but also to us as volunteers, primarily to the birds because it gets them out of their normal enclosure, allows them to experience different sights, different sounds. It also allows us to continue to handle them in a safe and effective way where they're comfortable. So when we do an off-ranch event or bring them to the public or bring them to an educational event, they are comfortable and feel confident with us handling them. Some of my personal rewards I get from working with injured birds of prey, especially the golden eagles, is I can only describe it as a feeling of magic to be around and be so close to animals that typically we see from thousands of feet away. An animal that is so powerful and so strong, that is so evolved in a way to hunt and capture animals that are incredibly fast. And not only her beauty, but the energy of her being around me is, I can only describe it as something magical. So I get fulfilled every time I'm here being around all the birds and all the animals here.